The College of Liberal Arts prepares students to become more analytical when thinking and more effective when communicating. Ranging across all disciplines, Liberal Arts offers a broad range of knowledge for nearly all interests. I think the main goal for me is that the students recognize that a liberal arts education prepares them to do anything in the world. Um, and oftentimes students are drawn to a particular major because they like what they're studying, they like what they're learning about, but they're not really sure, what am I going to do with this major when, I'm, uh, you know, when I graduate? What, what are the options that are available to me? Dean Weiser is the instructor for General Studies 300. The class, held in Beering Hall in room 2290, brings in alumni to inspire and speak with students about their careers. Kendra Bracken Ferguson was one of those alumnus brought back to speak about her achievements. Currently, I am the co-founder and chief operations officer of Digital Brand Architects, um, a company that I launched in October of 2010, so we're three years old, and we specialize in social media strategy, um, tactical execution, as well as online talent management. And we were the first agency to really combine online influencers with monetization properties and helping with brand integration. Kendra advises students to follow their passions, traditional or untraditional. I think that it's being open to all the possibilities, experiencing as much as you can, and then just really never closing any door, always looking forward, and just being open to the adventure of creating anything that you want. For anyone in the College of Liberal Arts, there is no limit to the possibility for adventure. Senior in anthropology Michael Jones recently ventured to the Amazon rainforest to live among the Kayapo Indians. So basically we were down in Brazil to conduct a ethnographic research opportunity for the undergraduate or anthropology undergraduate students within the liberal arts um, uh, school here at Purdue and uh, one of the main activities that we got to do was we got to watch and participate in a festival or a ceremony called the Great Naming Ceremony, which is an annual ceremony that less than maybe 50 people have actually witnessed. Experiences like Michael's allow for different cultures to connect, but students don't need to travel to other ends of the world to achieve links with other individuals. Someone said last week, and I thought this was really, uh, really useful, really important advice, um, a student said, well, how do you network? How do you start networking? And the person said, look around you. The people who you're in classes with now are part of your network. You need to think about that. that you're going to graduate, they're going to graduate, they're going to go off in one direction or another. You're going to go off in one direction and another, or another. But if you keep connected with those people, they become part of your network. So do your um, coworkers. So do the people you meet through your jobs and so forth. If you would like to contact the College of Liberal Arts, the Dean's Office is located in room 1290 of Beering Hall, or you can call 765-494-3663. I'm Chris Jones, reporting for Fast Track.